Are you interested in the capsule wardrobe concept, but not so interested in becoming a minimalist? I am not a minimalist. I am not a maximalist either. I consider myself somewhere more in the middleist. A middleist, if you will. And today's video is all about how I've created my own capsule wardrobe concept that works perfectly for me as a middleist. It might work for you too. Check it out. Hi y'all. If we have never met before, then welcome. My name is Lori and I'm so glad to have you drop in here on my channel. If we have met before, then welcome back. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me for a few minutes today. Now, the first thing I had to really understand before I was successful with my capsule wardrobe concept is what did I really want out of it? So I think that's the very first thing you have to really understand to be successful with the capsule wardrobe. You have to know how do you want your capsule wardrobe to serve you. Maybe you are trying to reduce the number of items you own and live a more minimal lifestyle and a capsule wardrobe can absolutely help you do that, but maybe not. My purpose for wanting to create a capsule wardrobe was first and foremost so that I could pack quickly and easily when I'm getting ready to travel. But my second purpose in wanting to create my capsule wardrobe is to actually wear all the things I own. I wanted to make best use of every single item of clothing that I own. Most people wear only 20% of their clothing 80% of their time. And that was true of myself as well. And I wanted to change that. But first, let me tell you how I found myself in that conundrum. I, like so many other people that I know, was simply shopping without a purpose. If I was out and I saw something I liked, I picked it up, not even stopping to think about how it was going to integrate into the rest of my wardrobe. And this shopping habit left me with an overflowing cluttered closet and I didn't even regularly wear at least 80% of the stuff that I had in it. Another problem I had is that I was not being very creative in how I even created my outfits. For instance, if I bought one top and one skirt together, I always wore that top with that skirt. I never really interchanged them with the other items in my closet. I just wore those two pieces that one way and that was really limiting. I had gotten so caught up in just getting through my day one day after the next as an accountant, as a mom, as a wife, as a sister, as a daughter, as all the things. And in getting caught up in all of these things, I had forgotten that getting dressed every day can and should be fun. Another thing that I had lost sight of was how much your self image really can affect your confidence. If you don't feel great about your own reflection in the mirror, that really comes through in lowering your confidence level. And I didn't want that. I don't think anybody wants that. But with my children having grown up and completely transitioning into their own self-sustaining adult lives, I found myself with a little bit of time on my hands. I had reached a point in my life that allowed me to take a look at the situation I had created in my closet and I decided it was time for a change. I've been poking around on the internet trying to figure out how I wanted to change my closet and what I wanted it to represent, I stumbled across the capsule wardrobe concept. Except other people's concept wasn't really working for me. And that led me to develop my own concept. Now I had already developed a rock solid travel capsule formula that works for me every time I travel. And I've made tons of videos about that and I'm gonna keep making more because I love it. It works so well. So what I did is I took the guidelines I had created for myself in my travel wardrobe concept and I just expanded them for my home life. I took my capsule wardrobe proven formula and I simply doubled it for my home life capsule. That doubled number is simply 10 tops, eight bottoms, four dresses, and either two or four layering pieces, depending on the season. And with each capsule, I pull these pieces and I place them right back here on my capsule wardrobe rack so that I can keep them separate from my complete closet, my complete collection of clothing and accessories. I found that separating them from my regular closet really made it much easier for me to be creative in the process of creating different outfits with this more limited number of pieces. Now a guideline I've set for myself in my capsule wardrobe concept that is really different from what you see in a lot of other capsule wardrobe videos is that I do not limit in any way my shoes, bags, any of my accessories to any single capsule. And that means every time I create an outfit, even out of my capsule wardrobe, I have my full collection of shoes, bags, and accessories available to me to complete that outfit in any way I'd like. I didn't like feeling limited with my shoes and bags and stuff. I love shoes, I love bags, and I didn't want to limit what I was going to wear for any period of time because I changed my bag and shoes every day. I like it, I enjoy it, and I wanted to continue to do that. Another really important factor that helped me to become successful with my capsule wardrobe concept is that I change out my capsule every 60 days. Now, of course, the contents of my 60 day capsule are based on the weather and what I have planned and what I've got going on and scheduled in that 60 day time period. But I change out my capsule every 60 days. This keeps me from getting bored with any of the items I've pulled for any particular capsule. 
because I'm only wearing them in different combinations for a 60 day period. And that means I never really feel limited by my capsule or my clothing options. I have found that I'm better prepared for the climate when I change out my capsule for every 60 days because the weather where I live on the Texas Gulf Coast is dramatically different at the end of spring than it is at the beginning of spring, even though we have a short spring period. And my needs are much more better served when I change out my capsule more frequently because they're a better match to the climate, to the time period. But here's the thing about the rules. I can break the rules. It's my own capsule wardrobe. So if I have pulled something for any particular capsule that isn't working for me, I will change out that piece. I don't have to wait 60 days. For instance, earlier this spring, I had pulled a pair of navy blue linen joggers to include in my early spring capsule wardrobe, but it turned out to be uncharacteristically cool in early spring on the Texas Gulf Coast. And so I never wore those linen joggers because they were too cold. So I simply switched out those linen joggers for a pair of jeans that I was more comfortable in. And I did not wait to the end of my 60 day time period to do that. Because if something isn't working for me, something isn't working for me and I can change it out now. Now the game changer guideline for me that allowed me to reach my goal of wearing all of my clothing at one time or another very, very consistently is that each 60 days when I create a new capsule, I try very hard not to include any item from my previous capsule. That's right. So each 60 days when I start out with 10 tops and eight bottoms and four dresses and two to four layering pieces, I try to make all of those pieces completely separate from the pieces that were in the previous capsule wardrobe. And this allows me to rotate through the entire contents of my closet so much more efficiently. Now this is one of the rules I kind of break on a semi-regularly basis. If I've added a new piece to my collection and I am really enjoying wearing it over and over and over and I'm styling it a bunch of different ways and I'm still reaching for it very, very regularly, I will carry it on to a next capsule wardrobe. Because I developed my capsule wardrobe to serve my needs, my want to be able to rotate through my clothing often and efficiently, but that doesn't mean I have to place unnecessary limitations on myself. If I am loving something that is in my capsule and I want to wear it a hundred times in the next four months, that's going to be a lot. I probably won't do that. I don't think I've ever worn anything a hundred times in four months, but in, you get what I'm saying. Wear it all you want. However, I have found that by putting it away makes it feel that much more fresh and that much more new when it comes back out for another capsule. So, it works either way. Do what you will with that one. I personally do not include any loungewear or athletic wear in my capsule wardrobes. And that's simply because I have separate capsules for those aspects of my life. For instance, I am in yoga wear every single day because I do yoga every single day, but I don't live my life in yoga clothes. So my yoga wear is a separate capsule. It's not included in my day-to-day -day life capsule wardrobe. I hope that makes sense. Of course, things come up in my life just like they come up in your life and you know that happens to all of us. So if I have a situation that comes up in my life that I don't feel comfortable and confident wearing something from my capsule, I go into my regular closet and I pull whatever clothing pieces I need to feel comfortable and confident in any unexpected situation. For instance, if I have to go to a funeral, I don't keep a funeral dress in any of my capsule wardrobes. But if I need to attend a funeral, I'm definitely going to dress myself in something that I feel confident, appropriate, and quite respectful in. And so I'm gonna go into my closet and pull the proper clothing items so that I can convey my respect in that certain situation. I don't strictly limit myself to just the items in my capsule wardrobe. I can pull from my regular wardrobe anytime I feel it's appropriate. Having this smaller collection of clothing pieces that I rotate in and out of every 60 days has allowed me to become much more creative in creating my outfits. I no longer buy outfits. I no longer have any pieces in my closet where this only goes with this. Every single piece in my closet goes with many other items in my closet. And that really makes my capsules work. It allows me to be really creative with the pieces that I have chosen for any specific capsule. And that creativity in creating outfits is just fun. The concept that I use for my capsule wardrobe is key to helping me make sure that I actually wear all of the clothing that I own during one period of time or another throughout a year. Having shifted my mindset to how I'm working with the entire collection of clothing that I own, one capsule at a time, has made it very easy for me to see my entire wardrobe much more objectively. And that simply means that I can 
very quickly identify any piece that isn't working in my closet. And that makes it really easy to declutter it. I don't hang on to anything for too long. If it isn't working for me, it isn't working for me and it can go. And I don't feel any loss in that because I know I've created a collection of clothing that is so interchangeable that inspires me to get dressed from you every day. But probably my most favorite effect that I have created in my life by working from these 60 day capsule wardrobes is that I can pack a travel capsule really quickly and really efficiently anytime I'm getting ready to leave the house and go on another trip. I simply grab my travel capsule worksheet and fill it out for the trip and then pull the pieces that I need right out of the capsule wardrobe that I'm working from for this 60 day period, pack it up and head out. I will link my travel capsule wardrobe planning worksheet that I use for each and every trip that I take down below. You can check it out if you want to. It's completely free and it might work for you just as well as it works for me. Thanks so much for hanging out with me for a few minutes today to hear all about how my capsule wardrobe concept is completely different than most others you're ever gonna hear about. And I do hope you understand that any capsule wardrobe concept, mine included, can be tweaked to meet your own needs. You don't have to follow anybody else's concept if you don't want to. You can follow somebody else's concept as much as you want to and just tweak the pieces that aren't working for you. You do what you want because it's your capsule wardrobe that should be serving your needs. Anyway, you decide you want to be served by it. If you made it to this point in the video, I do hope you will consider subscribing to the channel, but if you want to, only if you want to. If you're not ready to subscribe or if you don't want to ever subscribe to the channel, don't worry about it, no harm, no foul. You have an open invitation to come back and hang out anytime you like because I will be here or out in the world somewhere making videos. So let's hang out here if you have a few minutes and if not, no worries. Next time. Bye, y'all.